Okay, hello everyone. Today we are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Diamond DA40NG. We have a 56 nautical mile flight from Victor November Yankee Van Eyes to Sierra November Alpha John Wayne Airport. We'll be flying via the coastal route, which is a published Class Bravo VFR transition. And we'll be streaming live ATC from Van Nuys and SoCal Approach and making all of the radio calls that we would be making if we were talking to them. So let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. Okay, we will cover the pilot's brief as we get everything started up here on the diamond. So we are taking off from Van Nuys, which is a class Delta. It is underneath the outer shelf of Burbank, which is a class Charlie uh, airport. So we'll be uh, remaining beneath that shelf on departure. To our south is Los Angeles, which is a huge class Bravo. And although the outer shelves of the Los Angeles airspace, uh, you know, do start anywhere from 2,000 to 5,000, depending on which one you're flying under, uh, when you get to the center of it, it's surface to 10,000. Uh, so there's no flying under surface, and your other option is to uh, to climb above 10,000 to overfly it. Uh, so we're going to need a transition for that. We're going to have to request a Class Bravo transition. So you could just request a transition, or you could request one of the published VFR transitions to make everything easier. There are four published transitions. To see these, you're going to need the terminal access chart. Uh, so not the normal VFR map, but the TAC chart. And this will be on the left-hand side uh, in the margins of the chart. The four routes are the Coliseum route, Hollywood Park route, Mini route, and Coastal route. Which one to choose? So the first question is, what altitude are you going to be flying at? Uh, the first two, Coliseum and Hollywood Park route, are going to be uh, altitudes of 8,500 or 9,500. Uh, so if you want to request those, you're going to have to climb up to that altitude and uh, depending on the airport that you're taking off from, you, know, you might not have enough time to get there with something like a Cessna or um, you know, a Diamond DA-40. That leaves the mini route and the coastal route. And to choose which to use, it depends on two things. One is the configuration of LEX. The mini route's only usable when jets are taking off and flying west out over the ocean. Uh, because the mini route is going to route you on the east side of the runways uh, and the coastal route. Now the coastal route doesn't have a restriction uh, for configuration of LEX uh, but it starts and ends fairly far north uh, of the Bravo and uh, fairly far south in the Bravo. So it ends at the Vincent Thomas Bridge and uh, starts out north of Santa Monica. And generally you're going to need to fly the entire route. Uh, you can't, uh, can't exit it uh, mid-route. So the mini route uh, starts north of LAX and uh, exits south of LAX. Uh, so if you are planning on you know, landing at an airport someplace inside the Bravo, you'd probably want to use the mini route because then you could transition LAX and then uh, fly to someplace like Long Beach pretty easily. Uh, but if you are planning on flying completely across the Bravo and exiting uh, to someplace like John Wayne, which is my plan, you'll want to use the coastal route because it's going to exit at the uh, Vincent Thomas Bridge and from there I'll be at 5,500 feet, which is perfect uh, for me to continue on the final leg of my journey to John Wayne. Van Nuys Ground, November 359 er Golf, Charlie. We have information India. We are a Diamond DA40 Slant Golf. Request flight falling to John Wayne at 5,500 via the coastal route. Squawk 2314, departure 120.4, and we'll advise when ready to taxi. November 359 er Golf, Charlie. Van Nuys Ground, November 359er Golf, Charlie, East Ramp, near Kilo, ready to taxi. Taxi and hold short, runway 34 left, via Bravo Romeo, November 359er Golf, Charlie. Alpha 
Van Nuys Tower, November 359 Golf, Charlie, holding short, runway 34 left for west departure. Cleared for takeoff, runway 34 left on departure, fly heading 300, maintain VFR, at or below 2400, November 359 Golf, Charlie. Uh, November uh, 40798 Van Nuys Tower, run stand by for a second. Number secure Charlie Kilo, we're parking again. Secure Charlie Kilo, taxi signature used to be a problem, stay with me, take care. And rotate. One stage right from Delta clear for takeoff. Off control base and right cross. Approved. One three right clear for takeoff. Right cross approved. Four zero seven nine eight. The upwind also right cross and follow them. Runway one six right from the full length clear for takeoff. On nav cancel out restriction. November three five nine golf Charlie. All right, we're turning to intercept the Victor two three radio from Santa Monica VOR. That will put us on course for our approach for the coastal route. We still have to get it approved even though we are uh, flying under ATC with flight falling, so uh, until we contact them, we don't have clearance to enter the Bravo airspace. Over to departure November 359 Golf Charlie. SoCal approach, November 359 Golf, Charlie, 4,500, climbing 5,500, 8 miles southwest of Van Eyes. Request coastal route through the Bravo, landing John Wayne. Cleared to enter the Bravo via the coastal route. Maintain 5,500, November 359 Golf, Charlie. All right, we've got the magic words, cleared to enter the Bravo. So we will maintain this heading following the Victor 23 radial to the LAX VOR at 5,500, then we will turn and follow the Victor 25 radial at 5,500 until we exit. We should have an awesome view of LAX as we overfly the end of it, so be sure to look out for that. So with that said, let's sit back and enjoy that fabulous scenery. Alright, that was a lot of fun. It was very cool to fly a published VFR transition through the complex LAX airspace and listen to all the ATC chatter along the way. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks a lot for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.